everyone, this is a podcast looking at the title of Mice and Men and things that you'll be able to talk about and use in your controlled assessment regarding the title and how important it is. So, one thing I found out from looking at the internet is that the title of Mice and Men, which originally, John Steinbeck called it Something That Happened. That was the original title. So the reason why he called it Something That Happened is that he could have called it an amazing, fantastic thing that happened. But the fact that he just said something that happened almost shows that everything in the story is actually not that just is not that special, but it's actually just the normalities of life in 1930s America. Not maybe so much the murders, but the way that black people were treated, the way that disabled people were treated, the way that women were treated, probably would have happened another ranch ten miles down the road. So all of the things that happened in the story, John Steinbeck is basically saying they are not unique, they are not special, there is nothing special about these stories. However, he then changed it to Of Mice and Men. This title comes from a poem by a Scottish poet called Robert Burns, and the poem was called To a Mouse. It was based on the true event. So Robert Burns, one day he was farming or he was ploughing in his field, and one time he came across a house that a mouse had built out of hay and straw and whatever it could find, and he knocked it over by mistake while he was farming. So then Robert Burns decided to write a poem about this, and he wrote it in the first person, almost as if he was writing the poem to the mouse. So this is the, um, the because it was a Scottish poem in sort of the 1700s, 1800s, um, it was written in old, archaic Scottish language. So the way it was actually um, said in the poem was, the best laid schemes o mice and men gang af agli. Uh, pronunciation is probably nowhere near. But this basically translates to, in current English language, the most prepared plans of animals and humans often go wrong. So basically, the meaning is that no matter how hard or how well we plan something, our plans can often fail to become reality, or worse, they can end up going wrong. So we can probably predict that from this title, the reason John Steinbeck has used this title, is definitely giving the reader a warning, that it's basically saying that these characters are not going to get what they plan for. So basically, of Mice and Men, using this title, is basically saying that plans often go wrong. One of the themes of that poem, but more importantly for Of Mice and Men, is fate. So John Steinbeck and Robert Burns are basically saying that our lives have a predestined route, that we can plan to do lots and lots of things and have dreams and ambitions, but ultimately fate decides no matter what. So if you wanted to go to the beach one day, you pack your spade, your towel, your swimming costume, but it might just pour down. So you can plan and plan and plan and plan, but basically it's, it's all up in the air. It's a lottery. Anything can happen. Your life is a predestined route. So as John Steinbeck has changed his title from something that happens to Of Mice and Men, this definitely suggests that he believes in fate too. And this applies to all the characters in Of Mice and Men. So for example, Curly's wife wanted to be an actress, but fate decides that she will be a lonely woman on a ranch and die at the hands of Lenny. Crooks reads a lot of books, he wanted to be a solicitor, but fate decided that he was a black man living in 1930s America, so it was never going to happen. George wanted his fan, but fate decided that he ended up with Lenny, and Lenny ended up um, killing Curly's wife and the dream ended. So basically, all the characters have dreams that are not fulfilled by the end of a novella. The one thing to note is that it is quite a negative view of life. It's not what I think, I imagine it's not what a lot of you think. However, it seems to be what John Steinbeck is, is thinking as he has changed his title from his original one. However, it links well with the American dream. The whole idea of the American dream that they talk about in the novel is that if you work hard, you can succeed in anything. However, John Steinbeck is basically saying that's a load of nonsense because basically you can work hard and plan hard and work as hard as you can. However, if fate doesn't want you to have your thing, then fate will decide in the end. So that's basically the title explains something that happened in the original title and why it was changed of mice and men. So you can definitely use a few of these points about fate and themes to use in your controlled assessment. I hope it's been of use to you. Thanks.